Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm filming a what's in my diaper bag video. As you know, was I had mentioned in my introduce me video, introduction video, um, I have an eight month old son, so that's why I'm doing a what's in my diaper bag video. So, um, the diaper bag that I currently have is my second diaper bag. I actually had a smaller one for when he was born because um, myself um, when he was born I didn't carry very much things as I do now um, when he was a newborn diaper bag what I had carried um, inside of it was mainly diapers formula an extra changing of clothing um, blanket a receiving blanket and then maybe like a thicker blanket since he was born in September so here in Colorado it starts getting chilly by then um, so that's why I have carried I carried um, bottles as well of course the um, but I didn't carry many things as I do now um, I'll actually try to post a picture of the diaper bag I had before but it was a uh, a small blue one, it did, had a lots of pockets outside, but it only had a big inside, like it didn't have many pockets inside of it. It was just like a big purse, I guess. But um, I eventually ended up switching out because my husband bought me a new diaper bag for Christmas last year. So um, he was, my son was getting big by then, anyways. So I um, carry a lot more things now than I did. Um, I haven't cleaned it out or reorganized it since Monday, which was Memorial Day, and so a lot of things in here I normally wouldn't carry, so I'm just going to show you what I carried that day, I guess, and I'll let you know what I carry for when I do go out, like daily basis, running errands and everything, and um, now that it's summer, what I won't carry, as to pose when it was winter. So, let's get started. Okay, so, um, like I said, let's get started. So I already put everything that I had in my diaper bag out around me so I can um, show you what I had Memorial Day weekend and what I usually carry for when I'm not out all day, like running errands and all that stuff. And I am missing my necklace. My son wanted it, so I had to take it off because I was just carrying him. But, um, so... This is my diaper bag, my second one. Um, I'm not sure who it's by. I got it for for Christmas. My husband bought it. Um, it's by Okie Dokie, and um, it's like a little satchel, I guess. Um, flaps over and it has two side pockets. And I usually put um the bottle over here, and then on the other side I'll put the thermos. I do carry a thermos for when I'm out in public and um. I need warm water for him, you know. I don't like to use the public restrooms water. I don't know who would. Um, there's times, you know, where you don't, oh, I don't have water. So, um, But I usually, if I don't have any more water in my thermos, I usually buy a bottled water. And I'll um, either go to a fast food restaurant and ask him for a hot, hot, cup, hot cup of water and just warm it up in there. Um, or I'll just microwave it. They tell you not to microwave it, but eventually you get used to it, how hot and how cold it, it, it is. And um, in the back, I have um, another big pocket. And um, inside, it's just a normal big pocket. And it has two smaller pockets back here. And then another pocket up in the front part of it. Um, and then I have another pocket right here and I usually keep my planner in here, papers, um, my wallet, my husband's wallet, he doesn't like to carry his own, weird right? Um, and I'll carry that and I'll carry um, my glasses, my sunglasses in here and um, yeah that's my diaper bag, my second one. My first one was just a regular diaper bag, the ones that you can get from Walmart. Um, it was a blue, black, and white striped one, and um, it didn't have very many pockets because um, we had gotten that one when I was four or five months pregnant. We didn't know if we were having a boy or girl yet, 
but my husband wanted a blue diaper bag, so we got a blue one. And um, when he was a newborn, I didn't carry very much stuff with me as I do now. Now, a post from diapers and everything, I had to carry his toys. This is a snake, but the other half is missing. Um, I carry toys, uh, a lot of toys for his entertainment. Um, and I carry two pairs of bibs. I have this small one, and I carry this toddler one. Um, because I found that it's easier for when I'm feeding him food that he likes to move around a lot, you know, and uh, he won't sit still when he's eating. So I usually put the toddler one on him when I'm feeding him solids because. You know, he won't get it all over his clothes and he won't get so dirty so fast. Um, but when I'm at home, he's usually just in a diaper, so that way I can take him a bath if he gets super dirty. But if not, he's usually wearing a toddler bib. And I have a baby bib, his his age group bib, I guess, um, for when he's just drinking milk. Okay, so the other thing that I have... I'll show you that later. <laughs> it's a changing of clothing. Um, I usually carry a lot of sweats or pants for him or a sleeper because um, even though it's summer here in Colorado it still gets chilly at night. Well too chilly for him. Um, so I usually carry sweatpants and a onesie for him so I can change them in because during the day he's just in shorts and a muscle shirt or a little short short sleeve shirt outfit, you know. Um, right now he's still in his sleeper. I haven't changed him yet. Um, today's a lazy day for him. <laughs> and if I'm going to be gone all day, I'll carry about six diapers. But if I'm gone half a day and just running errands really quick and I know I'm not going to be gone f for like 12 hours, you know, mainly just three or four, I'll carry three diapers. Um, three to four diapers. I don't carry more than that because he really doesn't swile himself that bad. There's times where he does but we're mainly at home when he does that. Um, I always, no matter what, carry an extra pair of socks. You know, when you're in a doctor's office the room's cold so I'll just put it on his feet or whatever. Or when we're out, you know, it's cold or chilly, the weather changes like crazy here in Colorado. It'll be sunny and hot and then it'll be snowing the next five minutes. Um, so I always carry socks. Let's see. Now, his medicine. I always carry medicine for him. Um, and this is Tylenol. I usually have another bottle of Advil. It's smaller than this. Um, with me at all times because you never know. They can get fevers out of nowhere. And especially when my doctor's appointments, when he gets his shots, I usually carry it with him so I can give him some to reduce the fever cause since they do get fevers right after. Um, I also have saline drops because when we were changing seasons he was getting really stuffy. So I had to buy these so that way I can put a couple of drops in each nostril and then suck them up with, out with his bowl. Um, I carry one with me at all times. Um, I have an extra one here at home in his room as you can tell I'm in his room and um, I also carry one in the car. Well, I used to carry one in the car when he was little at all times. So that way, if I couldn't find one, I had one in the car and I had one in a diaper bag, you know, depending where I was. I had one at all times because you need that. <laughs> I also carry his thermometer. It has a little cover and it's right here. Um, this is just a simple one. You just push the button and. Um, it turns on and it'll beep when it's done and I'll show you everything and I'll show you the last temperature that you had taken with it um, and it changes from it changes from Celsius to Fahrenheit obviously um, what else do I have? Sorry, I'm on the bed <laughs> um, I also carry a charger with me um, I carry the one that the USB and the charger hole plug in because um, the charger I have in my car I can just take this and plug it in and then for when I need a
charge it into a wall outlet. I have it. I carry vitamin C tablets. Um, he'll take it twice a day. I mainly give it to him when he's sick, you know, so that way he recovers faster and better. I also have a syringe because he takes um, acid reflux medicine. Um, he was spitting up a lot since he was born, you know, and um, we couldn't figure out why. You know, when you're a new parent, you're like, oh, what's happening? And we found out that he has acid reflux, so he takes medicine twice a day for it. And I carry it with me at all times, and I carry an extra syringe just in case I don't have time to give it to him in the morning, but throughout the day I will. And um, I carry a binky just in case. He doesn't use them anymore. He stopped using them when he was three months old. But I still carry it with me just in case, you know, when we're driving or whatever. And I can't feed him in the car, obviously. Um, I'll put it in his mouth, but he doesn't really like them anymore. <laughs> Um, I carry a toss away spoon. Now that he's eating food, um, I take two jars with me um, if I'm going to be gone all day. And if I'm going to be gone till lunch or um, around two, I'll just carry one jar with me so that way I can feed him his solids. Um, I also carry oatmeal in a little baggie. I put a little bit, probably like less than a teaspoon or a teaspoon in his milk. I'll fill it up um, to about seven or eight ounces of milk and I'll put a little bit in there so that way, you know, he he stays fuller longer. Um, Cause he runs through formula like no other. I mean, it's, he runs through a lot of formula. But these are my favorite bottles, the uh, Dr. Brown bottles. Um, they're called Dr. Brown Natural Flow, and they have this blue tube in them that, um, and this, uh, he was just drinking his bottle, um, this blue tube in them, and this white thing right here, I don't know if you can see, um, but he carries, he, we carry, these are my favorite bottles. And they have like this tube thing in them. Mainly because um they're supposed to help with spit ups and gas and not let as much air go into them because it they have horrible gas and colics when they get gas inside of them. Like air bubbles. <sighs> Doctor Brown these Doctor Brown bottles are my favorite bottles ever. Um the nipple has little lines through them, and I guess they're supposed to help with the, like, air getting into the baby. Um, and what else do I carry? Um, this weekend I carried a swim shirt for him, a swimming outfit. I have this one for him. I don't know if you can see it. And um, these little swimming shorts. And it's funny because I packed all his swimming stuff, but I didn't pack swimming diapers. And But we did end up going swimming. We went to the zoo instead. Um, and I also will most of the time carry a receiving blanket still. Um, he never liked being swaddled, but a lot of babies do it. Like my nephew loved being swaddled, and then he grew out of it. But my son Dom never liked it. He hated it. But now I, I save the receiving blankets so that way in the summer when there's that cold breeze of air, you know, um, I can just put it on him so he won't be chilly. But I, I carry receiving blankets. I used to carry thick blankets like this one um, during the winter because it was, you know, snowing and everything. But now I don't. And if you can hear that little noise, he's playing with my necklace. Um... My wipes, I carry one if I'm going to be gone half a day, and I carry two just in case because he runs through wipes like formula, you know, they go in and out. Um, that's pretty much what I carry in my diaper bag besides my wallet and my chapstick, and if I'm like, the other day I was wearing a pinkish nudish lipstick, and this is from Ulta. I use a lot of drugstore makeup drugstore makeup. Sorry, I'm stuttering a lot today. Um, so, 
I when I do tutorials, it'll be mainly with drugstores. Um, and my chapstick. And I carry my wallet, but I don't have it with me. I left it in the kitchen. And I carry my cell phone, obviously. Um, yeah, and I, that's mainly what I carry in my diaper bag. Um, during the winter, I carried more of sweaters, beanies, socks, thick blankets, um, um, really warm clothes, obviously. Um, he had this little bear outfit that I would put all over him when he was dressed. So it kept him really warm. And I would put a thick blanket over him, you know. And then I would cover him with another blanket so that way he wouldn't get cold air on him. And, um, that's... Hey guys, sorry about that. Um, he's getting ready for his nap, so I had to stop and try to put him to sleep, but... It wasn't working. So right now he's happy. He's playing. Um, he's actually right here. Um, that's pretty much what I carry with me at all times. Um, when you're a mother, your diaper bag becomes your purse. So I haven't had a purse in a while. Um, yeah, I mean, subscribe to me. Um, if there's any other videos you want to see, um, comment down below. Um, mommy advice videos, um, tutorials, anything you want to see. I might do a trial and error on bottles or products that I've had that I didn't like and wouldn't recommend. Um, but yeah, I might do that next. And this video might go up today, Thursday or Friday. I typically am trying to do videos every Wednesday and every other Friday, maybe more often, depending on my schedule. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, and please subscribe. I know my introduction video was horrible. I wasn't even dressed up or anything, and I hope this video is better. Um, yeah, I'm just here to inspire, to help out. Um, just subscribe, and we'll have fun with this. I want you guys to be part of my journey on YouTube. And yeah, I mean, just subscribe, watch, comment down below, let me know what you think, um, like I had mentioned. I'm just here to help others like I've been wanting to help. Um, but yeah, just subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.